We don't kill the living. Amen. Did he forget the names just like Steve Harvey? Tell Adidas that we need a million. What's going on, y'all? Jimmy McElbear. We're up to season eight, episode five of The Walking Dead. Last we saw, Sheba sacrificed herself for Ezekiel. Um, a lot of you guys pointed out the uh, Ezekiel saved her, and then Sheba saved him. What I did not notice, I mean, I noticed that already, but what I did not notice is that it was both their legs that was the cause of said uh, needing to be saved. Interesting. Get to it. And I did, with zero hesitation. Yeah. Which was incredibly impressive. <laughs> you told me that already. I did? Three times. Listen. Is this? You came to see me. And though I was already away dealing with that rank betrayal, which was unknown to you. Oh, indeed it was unknown. It was indeed unknown. <laughs> I wanted to, I'd just like to start by saying thank you for having me here today. <laughs> Nathan, let me lay this down straight for you. I know how it is. Negotiating the slippery, steep terrain of managing resources and the population and the big scary you which you might know, it's called the unknown. Look at Kevin. <laughs> That's why you're called the, the savior. Oh. Yeah, I'm still the guy. I've always been the guy. Huh, if you're still the guy, if indeed you have always been the guy, then why the hell didn't you know about the widow leading an army of your people straight up my ass in Alexandria? Politician threading the needle with your thin, thin dick. Now is listening to you the right way to go? Or is it the right place and time for something else? Plan B? People are a resource. People are the foundation of what we are building here. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Are you confused about who we are? Are you confused about who is in charge? Are we backsliding, Simon? We're not backsliding. We're not backsliding. Negative. Yeah, with three and three in the windows. Tell what did he do to Simon? Backsliding needs to go back. For those who were not aware. Uh, Me and Simon got out of line before. He had to check him. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Gavin is awesome. Maybe this is the reason. Child, please. What? I think... I'm here to take your confession. It's completely within his character, and was as creepy as Negan thinks his character is. We have to assume Negan's dead. I'm Negan. And as I understand it, everyone in this room is. Now, I realize there's a lot of stress in the air. But just to clarify, are you saying you're someone else, Regina? No. Good. Someone in here made everything out there happen. We're having our little crisis management meeting about the rebellion in Alexandria. Us three outpost heads. And that's when they pile this crap on us. That's when they cut us off? Come on. 
Look at the cat. So you got a problem with that? Come at me. Hmm. You can't leave the saviors out of here. I will. Not the snitch. Good meeting people. <laughs> now let's make today the best today it can be. A wife you promised to have and to hold, forsaking all others. One you told that lie to? Another group? This is on them. People die. It's their fault. Not ours. Yeah, we can't do this. And we got our own people to look after. We're not oh. doing this. Hey, oh, I'm not letting you do this. Oh! Send your choice. How oh, crazy, Rick. Both generals have a real beef with their lieutenants. This is uncomfortable. Really? I love that, absolutely. They're just like two brothers, man. I want to rough you up a little bit. I want to kill you. <laughs> You're forgiven. <laughs> Thanks. I need to correct you on that point. Where's Negan? Gun! <laughs> I am Negan. Save people. Thank you, Negan. Thank God for you. And that is why I am here. Gentlemen, gently take him to number two. Gently. Is he hallucinating? Or did he ask you to see a helicopter? If you try your best, and I know you try your best, but you don't figure something out, I assure you, I will kill you quickly so you don't have to see all the awful, horrific things that are going to go down here when we run out of food and water. What I'm saying is that I got your back. Either way, <laughs> you got mine. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong, but episode, uh, season five, right? Episode one is the Miscavy Terminus, and then um, somewhere between three and five is Tainted Meat, right? Them attacking Rick in the church, and then 
I made you a promise. That, so maybe outside of five, maybe outside of five, and the first two episodes of six are really good. But outside of that, these have been my favorite first five episodes of a season of The Walking Dead ever. It's not even that close. I'm going to go five, then this one. That was a fantastic episode. The first of all, I thought we were getting a Gregory episode, but you probably couldn't do a whole Gregory episode. He's hilarious, but he's, he's really good in spurts. And they seem to time his spurts perfectly. That was fantastic. This revolved around Negan and Father Gabe. I'd say probably as opposite ends of the spectrum as you could get. Maybe Negan and Eugene. But other than that, Negan and Father Gabe is probably about as close as you can get. Uh, another highlight of the episode, or a major point of the episode, were people and their lieutenants. Specifically Negan and Simon and Rick and Daryl. Daryl outright rebelled. Oh, no, 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 no. We're doing this my way. Punch Rick, tried to choke him out. Um, and save him, because I don't want to kill you. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just sick of this shit. And uh, Negan putting Simon in his place. I don't like that. I didn't like that at all. And I'm not the biggest Simon fan in the world. I like him. Um, but it feels like this is going to be a problem. Negan's going to have a rebellion on his hands very shortly. Father Gabe really impressed me. Him using his religion uh, to kind of, it seemed, coax Negan into a false state of security to try to get a couple shots off. Um, didn't work out. And then, he actually took his confession. I assume this episode was to help kind of humanize Negan, and it definitely did that. I still don't think he's a good guy. He's clearly misguided. He's clearly... Uh, uh, um, full of himself this new world he has that he thinks he's going to build revolves around him people bow when he comes in they refer to themselves as Negan I mean uh, this is obvious to me but it is coming from some kind of a good place somewhere that make any sense um, thank God for you <laughs> It's almost like he would have been choked if he just sped that back up. And that is why I'm here. That was really good. We're five episodes in, in my opinion, we're five for five. That means we can um we can fail the next two, right? The next two stink. You still have a passing grade through seven episodes. Anywho. Uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Unless something went horribly wrong, you should see your name here somewhere in the roll call. Also, the podcast starts on November the 6th, talking a whole bunch of nonsense about a whole bunch of nonsense. And for those requests, they should be coming shortly.